From living in poverty-stricken streets to enduring ravaging civil wars, footballers have seen everything. But there are success stories of the players who have been able to beat this vicious cycle of poverty. Here are our top 10 footballers who went from nothing to earning everything. But first, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more football updates. Number 10. Diego Maradona Everyone remembers the great Argentinian for his skills and exceptional goals. Some remember him for that hand of God goal against England in the World Cup. But very few know that Maradona lived a tough childhood. He was born in the shantytown of Villa Fiorito, Argentina. The gravity of the situation can be gauged from the fact that Diego did not have footballing shoes to showcase his talent. He even shared a single room with his seven siblings and only ate two meals a day. Football was his only passion. The Argentinian striker remained steadfast, worked hard, and signed for the youth team of Argentinos Juniors. That was an initial kickstart to his career. What came next was record-breaking stuff. Seeing his skills at the 1982 World Cup, FC Barcelona signed him for a record $7.6 million. But this wasn't the end. He broke his record again when he moved to Napoli for a record fee of $9.5 million. Surely with 4 World Cups and 258 club goals, Maradona deserved all the praise. When he passed away, he had a net worth of $500,000, with parts of his money being confiscated from tax authorities. From zero to a hero, what a tale of perseverance and dedication. Number 9. Luka Modric We all love a rags to riches story, but nothing can beat the emotional story of this Croatian midfielder. Modric was born at a time when Croatia was vying for independence against Serbia. Imagine this poor lad living in refugee camps in a war-torn country. And that too when Luka's family could not afford to feed him. For quite some time, Modric lived with his parents in a hotel with other refugees. But his quest for becoming a footballer was always high. He used to practice in the parking lot of the hotel. Well, luck favors the brave. One day, a local football academy saw him and took him in. And years and years of hard work landed him at Tottenham Hotspurs in 2008. Stellar performances in the Premier League earned him a ticket to Europe's biggest club, Real Madrid. Five Champions Leagues for Galacticos, one golden ball, and numerous trophies make him one of the best midfielders of our era. Who would have thought that the boy who was saving his life from grenades and guns would one day have a net worth of $75 million? Hats off to Luka, you have broken down all the barriers. Number 8. Ibrahimovic they pray for miracles, and miracles arrived. Well, it's a miracle that Ibrahimovic played this prestigious sport, and you'll certainly agree with us when you hear his heart-wrenching story. Most of us are familiar with Zlatan's outstanding finishes and his witty humor, but did you know that this Greek god had to steal to survive in his childhood days? His mother gave birth to him in Sweden. Ibra expected to be smooth sailing, but to his dismay, he had to live under stressful conditions as he was a refugee from Yugoslavia. So Zlatan was on his own, roaming around the streets, pickpocketing people and pinching bikes. But the tall and well-built boy was fit for football. He was picked by Malmo FF when he turned 13, and from there on, he never looked back. Zlatan played for Ajax, Barca, United, PSG, Juventus, and other big European clubs. Currently, he has a net worth of $190 million. Number 7. Pele He's the youngest ever to score in a World Cup final, a three-time world champion and a true legend. The Brazilian is also fond of expensive cars, and over the years, he's been able to manage a whopping 115 million. Damn! But wait a minute, these luxuries were not always part of Pele. He lived in abject poverty during his early days. The poor boy walked in tea shops as a servant to make ends meet. He didn't have any football equipment, but if you have skills, the universe conspires with you to achieve your goals. And the same happened to Pele. The Brazilian was given an opportunity by Santos to showcase his talent, and he did not disappoint them. In 605 appearances for Santos, Pele crossed the net 589 times. Truly impressive. From a time when he had nothing to becoming the player of the century in 1999, Pele is a motivation for everyone out there. Number 6. Neymar Jr. What would Neymar like to order for lunch? Probably one or two penalties from a dive. 
Enough of Neymar bashing, the reality is that the guy is a genius and arguably the greatest raw talent of this century. No one has had such a combination of grace and force. He could destroy you with his astonishing run or a back heel, a striker with a winger's brain and a midfielder's influence. But just like his Brazilian predecessor Pele, Neymar also lived in poverty. He grew up in a place where there was no electricity, and little Neymar survived most nights by lighting up candles. One day, his mother did not have enough money to buy a cookie, but Neymar consoled her by saying that he'll buy her one when he becomes a professional footballer. A $200 million net worth and a Lamborghini Veneno, Neymar now has it all. And to add the cherry on top, the Brazilian has Bruno Biancardi as his girlfriend. Rise to stardom, just Neymar things. Number 5. Carlos Tevez Tevez had a third degree burn when he was 10 months old. Life was challenging from the beginning as his mother was an alcoholic. Later, his parents left him, forcing him to move in with his uncle. But the situation was even more difficult at his uncle's place as he was living in the slums of Buenos Aires. Gun violence and drugs were the order of the day and such an environment was not conducive to Tevez. But he remained dedicated and beating all the odds, he joined the youth team of Boca Juniors. The guy never looked back. Grabbing one opportunity after the other, Tevez joined Manchester United in 2007. And how can we forget his match-winning penalty in the 2008 Champions League final? Another shift in his life came when he joined his noisy neighbors in 2009 at a British record fee of 47 million pounds. Well, very few can manage to leave their past behind and become the highest paid footballer and Tevez is one of them. Commendable to say the least. Number 4. Cristiano Ronaldo Most of us would like to have a lifestyle equivalent to CR7. $500 million net worth, a beautiful partner, a six-pack physique, and luxury cars, Ronaldo has surely made heaven on earth, and he truly deserves this. With over 800 career goals and sublime performances over the years, he's the absolute best. Though he is having a low time at United. But guys, at least he's trying. But Ronaldo faced many hardships while growing up. His parents endured financial hardships, his mother was a cook, while his father was a gardener. They did not have money to bear the educational expenses of CR7, so they took him out of school. But it was all written. From Sporting's youth team to Manchester United, it was meant to be. Number 3. Luis Suarez If you can't beat them, just eat them. This has been the mantra of Suarez for years. Well, perks of having sharp and pointy teeth. Jurassic Park stuff. Jokes aside, Suarez has been a sensational footballer. From scoring from acute angles to lifting the Champions League, he is a role model for many young boys out there. But his past was a not-so-smooth ride. The Uruguayan was born in the small town of Salto, and like most footballers, he was poor. Ah, uh, another usual suspect. Suarez was passionate about football, but the lad didn't have the money to own football shoes. The situation became further intensified when his parents got separated. Despite emotional and financial setbacks, the young boy had the footballing passion running in his veins. And at the age of 14, he joined the local side of Nacional's youth team. His street smartness worked and from there on, he never looked back. Currently though, at the twilight of his career, Suarez has a net worth of $70 million. What a journey. Number 2. Victor Moses Africa is a continent of struggles. Despite that, it has been able to produce world-class football players. Yaya Toure, Didier Drogba, Mo Salah, Emmanuel Eto, and many more. But the most impressive journey is of former Chelsea player Victor Moses. Moses grew up in Nigeria in a Christian family. Shockingly, his parents were killed in a religious feud when Victor was just 11. He was then smuggled to London where a foster family took care of him. Seeing the footballing spark of England, Moses became fond of football and one day a local Crystal Palace scout saw him playing and earned him a scholarship at the academy. At Palace, his skills were refined and later he got a place at Chelsea. At present, he plays for Spartak Moscow with a net worth of $23 million. He is not at the level of Messi or Ronaldo, but losing your parents at a young age and becoming a footballer in a foreign land deserves a round of applause. Number 1. Engolo Kante Earning an annual average salary of 15 million pounds must be a piece of cake for a player of Kante's stature. After all, the midfielder has won a World Cup, Champions League, and a Premier League. 
he's a nightmare for the opponent. But executing all this was an uphill task. He started his career by becoming a garbage collector. His parents immigrated to France when his father died and he had no means to cover the expenses of his family, so he was forced to collect trash. During the 1998 World Cup, Kante had the job of cleaning up the stadiums and that World Cup motivated him to become a footballer. Later, he joined a football academy and the rest is history. But Kante never brags, he's the most humble guy out there. So these were our rags to riches stories. Inspirational stories for everyone to strive ahead for a better future. Who do you think struggled the most? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.